Hello and welcome to a new series which I'm thinking about doing. It's kind of like, I don't know if I make it a series, this might just be a one video thing only, but if you want it to be a series then hit the like button and comment if you want to see this a series, but it's, all, it's your choice. I'll prob Actually, I'll probably do it anyway even if I don't get any comments, but never mind. But pretty much this series is going to be ways to improve Call of Duty. Now mainly I'll probably be focusing on Advanced Warfare since no one really plays Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 3 seems perfect. And because of that I think this could be a good opportunity to try and get my word out there, my opinion. And the first episode is going to be Supply Drops. Now one thing I've hated about Advanced Warfare since the start of it it's the supply drops. We've all had our good moments with the supply drops, like right at the start. I didn't really get a lot of elites. The first elite gun I think I had was the more silver bullet. Then I started to get good ones like the Goliath and the Sack Free Pain and Suffering. But then I started getting crap and then I got really annoyed because I never got the speakeasy or the Obsidian Steed. I got pretty happy when I got the Insanity. But I still, we need, we need better ways to earn supply drops because I pre, I get bored of this game pretty easily. And um, 45 minutes, I could probably play 45 minutes of. But to be honest, if they put supply drops in Exo Zombies, that would be amazing. Like a way, a way to put, a way to earn supply drops in Exo Zombies. That would just make me want to play it non-stop. Not even just that. Like, we could think of other multiplayer stuff. Now, one thing I thought about we could do is an XP... It's an XP base for supply drops. So, what I thought is... Every 30,000 XP would be one supply drop. One supply drop. And then, every 100,000 XP would be an advanced supply drop. Mainly this would be for the people who are Grandmaster and they don't get any free supply, advanced supply drops. Because everyone knows that you unlock an advanced supply drop when you're level 20, level 30, level 40 and then when you prestige. But Grandmasters can't prestige so you don't really get any free advanced supply drops. There is a new gameplay mechanic called Supply Credits which is coming out in, this, in the near future and it's... Making it so that people who are Grandmaster get to get to have advanced supply drops for free. Like, obviously, also, the new guns, the AK-47, the Cell-3, and the M16 have just been released. I am kind of pissed off at that because I haven't even had one variant of the STG, the SVO, the Blunderbuss. That's how annoyed I am at this game at this point. I, I haven't even had a variant for the first wave of DLC guns, let alone the second. And I don't know, maybe I might do a mini... I won't do a crazy advanced supply drop opening, but if you guys want me to do a small opening, like 13 or 28 supply drops, let me know in the comments and I might get it done. I can't do 100, I'm not that rich. I'm not rich. Um, I'm only just one person, but yeah. And another way I hope on how I thought we could do advanced earn supply drops is the kills. For example, I thought every um, I wouldn't say 100 kills because some people can rack up like 88 kills in one match. Uh, I'd say every um, 500 kills per supply drop, not supply drop, advanced supply drop. And then another thing that I was thinking about is more challenges. For example, there will be two, I thought there's two weapon challenges, which means getting kills with certain weapons, then two, then two game, game type, adva game type supply drop challenges, and then which means you go in two different game modes that it tells you to do, like uplink, search and destroy, 
or even rank play. Those are the only challenges I actually get now. The game modes that I don't, and using the guns that I don't like. And it pisses me off. I need, we need easier ways. Like, for example, I think you should read your account and then, depending on how easy it is, that would be the reward. So, for example, I'm not really good in, like, momentum. Mainly competitive game modes, like, in the eSports category. So pretty much ranked play. I'd think, I'd think if I want to do a supply drop challenge for get for a thing in ranked play, I'd want an advanced supply drop for it, not a friggin' normal one. Like why would I? Why would I play a game mode that I don't like just because of one shitty supply drop? Uh, it's just the, it's just all the, it's all the friggin' uh. We just, it's Sledgehammer, they'll, they'll never listen to me, but still. Yeah, and, um, another thing I thought about the supply drops is the, is, like I said, exo zombies. For example, you could do exo zombies challenges, um, like, get a gun to mark 20 before, like, round 30 or something, or get to get to a certain round or upgrade a certain gun to a certain level. I don't know. Just any challenge and then like, a daily challenge or anything for Exo Zombies. That would make me play Exo Zombies hell of a lot more and more ways to earn supply drops will make me play the game hell of a lot more. And that's pretty much my opin opinion of the supply drops. And the main problem I see with the advanced supply drops as well is that once you grandmaster, you have to pay for them. Like, how is that? Like, how is that fair? Like me, I haven't even had. Like, I've seen many people with the STG 44 Vampire, and I haven't even had a single variant for it yet. How is like? How is that fair? They should have like at least. I thought they should have at least given you like the opportunity to unlock one of your choice. You get one of your choice to unlock, and then you unlock that one, and then the other two you have to get a variant out of it to unlock it. But I thought that might be a bit OP because everyone will just pick the STG because it's pretty much the AK-47 and the HBRA3. And uh, but still, still that would have been good. So you would have had at least one DLC variant to use. Because I never get them, and I don't think I'm ever going to get this, the AK-47 one. Until the, event, until the supply drop credits comes out, until they come out, which they probably won't, because of all the, of all the things I've heard, it's they're probably fake. But eh, I just, I'm just sick and tired of advanced warfare. In my opinion, this was. A game that should never have been attempted. Um, we we gave Sledgehammer a chance to make to see if they could make a game, and in my opinion, I don't think they I don't think they perfected it. The only like thing I literally like truly like about Advanced Warfare is a couple of the characters, Gideon and a few of the Exo Zombies characters. Other than that, I just find this dull. The the game the new game modes well get game well one's new the other one is pretty much war but with a different name and I I think that Uplink was very bad and yeah uh, and they just need more they, this game was just like I'd say this is like a beta kind of for Sledgehammer and I. I think Neversoft did the correct thing. They fused with Infinity Ward, and now they're part of Infinity Ward. And I say they did the correct thing. Sledgehammer didn't. They kind of freaked up. Because in my opinion, I think Advanced Warfare is a pay-to-win game. But still, I'm finished bitching off. I can't. I can't even bother with this now. I'm done. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.